Hi everyone, so in this video I'm just going to do a quick run through of what a Maya plus X normal into hand plane baking workflow looks like. So I've got the low poly for our hand plane here, and it's all one mesh, and I've got the high poly already output it all as one mesh, and for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to worry about the projection errors, I'm just going to do this quickly. So there'll probably be some bleed over and other errors from trying to do this all at once, but I'm just not going to worry about that. So to get started, I'm going to export the model to X normal. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to pick out the XNormal SPM translator. And I'm going to export it. You can see I already have a copy here. And then I'm going to load up XNormal. Go to the high poly meshes. You can see I've got the hand plane high OBJ in here. And I've got the SPM we just exported here. And then under baking options, the only really important thing is if you go to the normal map, open it, I have unchecked tangent space, which means you're outputting into object or world space. So I'll just go ahead and bake this, and then I'll cut back to the video after it's done. So the bake is done, and I can load up the folder here. You can see here's the object space normal map baked out of XNormal. Now if I jump back into Maya, and I select our model, I'm going to output a hand plane 3D file. And if you're a Maya user, it's really important that you use our supplied um, exporter plugins. And the reason for that is because Maya works differently than other 3D programs in that um, an untriangulated quad or an unforced triangulated quad actually has different normals than a quad that's manually triangulated. So uh, what that means is Hamplane needs to know what the internal triangulation direction is so that it can generate on its end the correct normals for your model. So I've got that exported, so I'm going to load up Hamplane. And you can see I've got the Hamplane H3D we just uh, exported in the input. And I've got the object space map in the input. And I've told it I'm baked in X normal, and I've told it I want to go, in this case, I'll go to Maya 2013. And I'll just hit render. And while I'm in here, I'm also going to put out one for Maya 2012. So I'm going to add 2012 to the suffix. Okay. So now back in Maya, if I load up the hypershade, I've made a blend material. And it's got the uh, Maya normal map we just created for 2013 in it. So I'm going to apply that to the model. And you can see that the shading now looks great. Um, there's a couple little projection issues, but again, we're not going to worry about those. So now I'm going to load up the other normal map. You can see that the shading will break. See, so it looks terrible. Um, and this is because Maya 2012 and 2013, um, when they made the switch over, they also changed uh, the default weighting of normals in Maya. They added a rollout in Maya 2013, so you can adjust this. So you go into the mesh attributes. Uh, under the quad split direction, you can pick from a list of options. And the default in Maya 2013 should be angle and area weighted. Uh, some old meshes from other programs or some old meshes from previous versions of Maya scenes will default to unweighted. Um, what you want is for hand plane 2013 output, you want to say angle and area weighted. And for hand plane 2012 output, you want to say unweighted. So if we switch to unweighted, everything looks good again. So a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, the H3D format does output the quad split direction. Um, so you're going to need to be a little bit careful about how you have this set. So I have it set to left, and it broke a bunch of stuff. Same with right. looks bad. But I uh, made my tangent space map on best shapes. So that's where it looks correct. So something I like to do as a uh, stress test for hand plane is come in and use something like the Cut Faces tool and add some edge loops to the model and just sort of break the shading. And then I can uh, export the model. So I'm going to go back up and I'm going to send this back into Handplane. And I'm going to name it Handplane Garbage.h3d. And I'm going to do this with a uh, unweighted normals uh, normal map for the display and output because I find the unweighted normals are a little bit better in Maya than the area weighted normals. So I'm going to put this as Maya Garbage and I've got the new h3d file in. And if I go into the hypershade, go to the blend, and I can change the knob up over to Maya garbage. And you can see that looks uh, pretty good, considering that uh, there's a bunch of garbage geometry on there. So that means that the normal map, if we go into the folder where the normals are stored, it means that the uh, normal map is having to create some pretty extreme gradients across these faces in order to compensate for that uh, garbage geometry.